Let's get a, let's bring them over here, get a measurement on them. Touching 16. Look at that. Holy smokes. Hey everybody, Mike Howe here. Uh, it's, um, it's February 7th, out here on Cascade. I've been here since the 30th, so a full week today. Full week yesterday. I've uh, been fishing for a week now. Um, conditions have changed half a dozen times. We started out, it was just a slushy mess. We had to seek out a spot to be able to get up and down the lake and be able to travel and not get stuck. And we've, uh, we kind of inadvertently found an area that held up for several days. Uh, we put some people on the, on the spot and they caught fish. And so then conditions changed. Some more folks came in, we fished up north. It got really cold. It firmed everything up Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday. We got some snow, weather changed. So we went from cloudy and snowing to real high pressure and bluebird sky and real cold. Uh, and then snow and clouds have warmed up again. Yesterday, it rained most of the day. Big group that came out from the Midwest, uh, clam guys and tournament guys, a little bit of everybody, which is really cool. Uh, see everybody out on the ice having a good time um, you know so we'll go to a spot we'll spread out if uh, no big fish we'll spend an hour or so move on at least that's the plan uh, so hit a lot of spots this morning uh, that we've hit hard the last week got a dozen spots or so that it, that's all produced really good fish um, you know fish in the two pound two and a half pound two and a quarter pound, lots of one eights to two pounders. Uh, just a real good healthy population of fish out here. If you haven't fished Cascade, you need to come fish Cascade, but you have to be prepared for the changing conditions. You might have slush, you might have really deep snow, you might have absolutely rock hard surface. You might have 15 inches of crust on top of the ice. Uh, you might have no crust on top of the ice. So Cascade is ever changing. Uh, constantly evolving. Rocky Mountains, man, the weather, the weather patterns move through here quicker than the carnivals, carnivals do in the summertime. So, kind of fishing in the rain again this morning. It didn't get down below freezing last night. Real misty, a little bit of rain, a little bit of snow. It's supposed to stay this way for a couple days. Anyway, uh, I'm about ready to move spots here. Uh, I've got fish, we've got small fish coming up, moving up aggressively to the bait. Uh, but those aren't the fish we're after. So we're gonna go hop another spot, keep moving until we get on them big fish. Uh, so uh, lots more to come. I haven't done a lot of filming yet, so I got a little bit to make up for, a little bit from days prior. We'll show you that. Uh, show you it all down here. Cascade, Idaho, 2020, February. Big fish of Palooza. I'll be back. Toadzilla. Just another day on Lake Cascade. That's how we do it. Beautiful. That's a toad. That's a solid 15 inch Cascade. Yep. <laughs> if you're not in Cascade, why not? in the lip. Nice. Very cool. Let's get a, let's bring them over here, get a measurement on them. Six 
16. Touching 16. Look at that. Holy smokes. That's what we're talking about. Cascade. This is what we're talking about. What will it be? 13? 15? 17? Yeah, 14. Yeah, thick one. Thick one. Another thick one. You're going to sell those zippers? Yeah, nice. That is money for you today. Every one of them's in that top part of the mouth. Everyone you've hooked with that lure has been right there. Sweet. We're eating tonight. On to the next one. We are eating tonight. There they are, the late arrivals. It's not going that way anymore, Mike. What way? That ski thing is all over, man. Oh, the the. Well, you can leave it behind. I've never taught. He'll take it back. I've never towed it. Morning, boys. <laughs> good to see you. Go, I'm good. Welcome to ID Hall. <laughs> How you doing, Jason? Nice good to see, see you. My dad, Cal. Hello, Cal. Hey, guys. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so that was a little squirrely, huh? A little bit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just going through trail. Trail. I've never used it. <laughs> oh. Awesome! That was a big one. He's still there. He's still there. That's a little better. That's a little better. See, you just you just gotta work up to it. They're spitting up blood ones. Yeah. I think they're starting to feed at this time of day. Yeah, they like these reds with the spitting up the blood worms all over. You yeah. See that? Yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. Very cool. Pound and a half fish, pound and three quarters. We got the orange caviar. I don't know what kind of plastic. Gris, uh, grizzly. Sure looks like what they're eating. Very nice. Where are you from, Phil? Fort Wayne, Indiana. Why don't you go back? <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Scott's hooked up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That'll do. Oh, yeah. That'll do. Not, not a pig, but. Oh, that's respectable pig. fish, man. There's two tacos there. <laughs> There's two and a half tacos. Uh, Gets it. Gets it. Gets it. Gets it. Sweet. Cascade Gold, as we like to say. Yeah, he's, he's he's throwing his head around quite a bit, ain't he? Bruiser. Well, we're due for a bruiser. At, th at this point, a catch is a catch. Yeah, nice rainbow. Gets it. Took the gets it rather than the, yep. the little hook. He was hungry. There you go. There you go. He's a, uh, that's a pretty fish. So see you later. Need my help. See you later. Come on, Josh. You're killing me here. <laughs> Come up off the bottom. I'd say they're not on the on the feed, but at least they're moving. Look at that, look at that sky, man. It's just opening up. Josh is hooked up here. Just talking about how shitty the fishing is. Poopy, poopy. <laughs> I, yeah, you did. He come back and gave you another opportunity, didn't he? Nice fish. Nice fish. See, all I got to do is talk about leaving. Yes, you did. That was exact words. See, that's a tall one. That's got a little bit of square belly. She just doesn't have a lot of length. Nice fish. Nice fish. Right as the battery ran out. A little video here of the, the jigger totter. Very simple device. Lots of different ways to get your rod in there. But, uh, just balances. You get a good indication when the fish strikes. You, fish doesn't feel hardly any, any resistance if you got it set up right. I just started using them, they're pretty cool. And then of course there's the jigging jaw jacker. And I don't believe I've jacked any jaws today with the jaw jacker. I've been doing a lot of jawing. I just haven't been doing any jaw jacking. All right, we're hooked up here. I don't know if it's a big fish, but it's sure throwing its head around. Could be a decent one.
not a monster, but aggressively took that. That darter is, that zipper is down the mouth. Down the mouth. Gonna have to uh, do a little surgery on this guy. I got my T2 toothpick, but maybe a little far down for that. Poke it out of that inside of the throat there. Sometimes it's a little too much even for that. But if you want to know how hungry that fish was, that crankbait is gone. What kind of crankbait is that? It's a gone. It's a gone crankbait, as this fish is probably gone home to dinner with me. There we go. Popped her out of there. Now, this one is not bleeding. Or, I mean, its, it's stomach isn't in its mouth. It's actually in pretty good shape, so I'm probably gonna let this female go. She's uh, 13 inches on the knob. 13 inch prime cascade specimen. We'll let him go. Her. Go spawn. Make more. Look like a rocket. Sweet. That was worth stopping here. The blood flowing. The juice is going a little bit for the morning. Awesome. Very awesome.